Hey folks, welcome back. Our today's problem is Armstrong numbers between two intervals. We have to write a program to display Armstrong numbers between two intervals. The input format is the first line consists of an integer first interval and the second line consists of an integer second interval. Both the intervals should be in integer form, okay? And the output format is the Armstrong numbers between two intervals with each number on a new line. So for example, our first integer is 1 and the second integer is 1000. Then the output will be 1, 153, 370, 371 and 407. Okay, so first let's see what Armstrong number is. An Armstrong number is a number such that the sum of the cubes of its digits is equal to the number itself. For example, suppose we have any number ABC. If ABC is an Armstrong number, then A cube plus B cube plus C cube should be equal to ABC, the number itself. So let's take a real example. Let's say we have 153. So we'll do 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube. So 1 cube is 1 plus 5 cube is 125 plus 3 cube is 27. Adding these, we'll get 153. So look, the sum of the cubes of the digits is 153 and our original number was also 153. So when these two are same, then we say our number is an Armstrong number. Okay, so let's see it in code. We have a method static void find Armstrong and it will take two parameters that is the two intervals so int a comma int b and we have to find the numbers between a and b so we'll use for loop from a up to b so for int i equal to a i less than equal to b i plus plus I'll create two variables num and sum. These are the helper variables. So int num equal to i and int sum equal to 0. So what the idea is that we'll check that our number is greater than 0 and we'll start from right side of the number. So how we find the last digit of any number? by dividing it by 10 and getting the remainder so if our number is 153 and we divide the number by 10 then the remainder will be 3 modulus operator will return us the last digit then we'll do cube of this digit and we'll add it in some variable and after that we'll divide the number by 10 so let's see while num is greater than 0 int remainder equal to num modulus 10 and sum equal to sum plus remainder into remainder into remainder remainder cube okay we can also use here power method of math class and then num is equal to num divided by 10. So in the sum variable, we'll get the sum of cube of all the digits of the number. So we'll check if sum is equal to i or not. So after while loop, we'll check condition that if sum equal to i, if our sum is equal to that number, then our number is Armstrong number. So we'll print it. So system.out.println sum. Okay. Now let's write the driver code. Scanner sc equal to new scanner system.in. 
int a equal to sc dot next int int b equal to sc dot next int and now we'll call method find armstrong so find armstrong and we'll pass a comma b and we'll import scanner class import java.util.scanner now let's see if the code is working fine or not let's compile the code java c armstrong number dot java okay so file is compiled successfully now let's run java armstrong number okay so first we'll pass here 1 and the second interval 1000 okay we are getting 1 153 370 371 and 407 so we are getting the correct output okay so we are getting the desired output so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you